Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit GTR4 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the Zap application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the Zap application and your iPhone to send the notifications to your watch. So, let's open the settings on our iPhone. In settings, find the set, uh, option called Bluetooth and tap on it. And in the Bluetooth menu, you should see the list of my devices. On this list, you should see Amazfit GTR4. Tap on the info icon next to it. And here, make sure that the share system notifications option is enabled. Once this option is enabled, go back to the main page of settings, scroll down to the list of applications and find the Zep application on this list. Then tap on it. Here make sure that the Bluetooth option is enabled and you can also enable the allow notifications option. But this one is not required. And once you're done, close the settings, open the Zep application on your iPhone. In the app, you should see the home page. Now tap on the profile icon, select your Amazfit GTR4 from the list of devices. Here, select notification and reminder. And right here, we have app alert, incoming alert, alert rather, or incoming SMS, and then incoming email. Uh, first, let's tap on app alerts. Enable the notifications by tapping on the switch. And once you turn them on, you will see the list of not, uh, applications right here, and you can enable and disable the notifications for the apps on this list, as you can see. And you can do it by tapping on the switch next to the app to enable the notifications or disable them. Basically what it does, so if you enable the notification, for example, for Twitter, uh, and you will receive the notifications from Twitter on your iPhone, they will be sent to your watch and you will receive them on, the, on your watch. If it's disabled for Twitter, you will only receive the notifications on your iPhone. They won't be sent to your watch. That's how it works. Okay. So once you're done with apps, you can then enable the notifications for SMS if you want to, for messages, and also for incoming email. So you can also enable the notifications for emails. Okay. And once you're done, you should be able to receive the notifications. So we can close the application. And if you miss your notifications, you can always wake up the screen on your watch, swipe upwards on the screen. As you can see, here we have the notifications on our watch. Okay. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video. Thank you.